आचिस आय अनु माथुर लेक्चरर गवर्नमेंट वुमेन्स पॉलिटेक्निक सांगानेर विल लर्न मेक यू लर्न अबाउट आचिस टुडे टू स्टार्ट विथ लेट्स सी हाउ वी कैन डिफाइन द आर्च एन आर्च इज अ कर्व्ड सिमेट्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर स्पैनिंग एंड ओपनिंग and typically supporting the weight of our weight you can see here if we see uh, the words again it is a curved symmetrical structure spanning above and opening and supporting the weight of our weight so here we can see that arch is being defined as a curved symmetrical structure spanning and opening and typically supporting the weight of our weight next we can study it as it is a structure constructed of wedge shaped units jointed together with mortar like here you can see these are wedge shaped units all these are the wedge shaped units being brought together or joined together with the help of mortar thirdly due to such wedge like forms the units support each other and the load tends to make them more compact like how are they being set such wedge shaped forms support each other they rest upon each other and so in total they tend to make it more compact so an arch can be studied in these three ways now moving on the study of an arch can be divided into two parts first the basic terminologies comprising of the various parts of an arch the various terms which we use in an arch we can study that and in the second part we can study about the classification and its types to start with let's see the terminology part the what are the basic terms which we generally use in making an arch or studying an arch here are the list here is the list you can see it's the intradoss extradoss soffit vossers crown key arcade abutment piers springing point springing line springer span rise center ring depth spindle haunch thickness or soffit and impost so these are some terms which we regularly or generally used in studying in arch now on uh, moving on we we'll study these uh, terms in bit detail and with relevant sketches now coming on to the very first uh, term that is the intradoss intradoss as you can see is the inner curve of the arch and extradoss which is marked here is the outer curve so extradoss and intradoss are the curves and here you can see soffit soffit is the inner surface of the arch so extradoss and intradoss are the uh, uh, the curves whereas the soffit is the inner surface of the arch next here we can see vossers crown and keystone see these are the parts of the arch vossers are the wedge shape units here you can see the various wedge shape units which are being placed together so these are being termed as vossers and among the among these the crown it is the uh, the very top part of the arch and keystone or we can study the keystone first we can see the keystone is the center uh, stone which is being placed in the center fixing together both the parts both the uh, opposite or the symmetrical parts of the arch so keystone is the wedge shape unit at the crown of the arch and crown is the top most point or the highest point of the arch next it is arcade abutments and piers see here you can see abutments you can see are the end parts these are the end supports the piers are the intermediate support and this continuous making of arch or series of an arch or you can say rows of an arch is being termed as arcade so 
uh, when we uh, study arcade we study abutments as well as piers piers are the intermediate uh, columns or the supports you can say and abutments are the end supports so in to all together they form an arcade now comes the uh, other three parts which are important uh, when we study the arch first is the springing point springing line and springer here we can see springing point here you see two points which are being marked on the figure these are the points from which exactly the arch starts and ends you can say so these are the points from which the curve of the arch of an arch springs or starts secondly the springing line springing line we can say is an imaginary line it, it doesn't exist but yes to construct an arch we consider it uh, it carries an importance so being a line it is a line it is it is the line it is the horizontal line which connects both these springing points so it is the line between the two springing points of an arch now comes the springer springer as you can see marked in red is the first wasier it is the first uh, wedge shape unit which we place on both the sides to start construction of an arch so springer are the very first wedge shape uh, units which are being placed on the either sides of the arch to start the construction of an arch moving on now since we have studied uh, all these parts we'll continue to study the rest of the units in the second part